Welcome back everybody to another My Hero Ultra Impact video and today we are going to be talking about Club Festival. We still have four days of Club Festival left. In total now we are at seven days that we are going to be able to participate in this event. It used to be I think 14 when they originally introduced Club Festival but then I guess maybe they realized that was too much or that was too much work for them to put together 14 different days so now they do like seven at a time. Right now my club is six but the goal of this video today is not to actually show you how to do any any one particular day or how to score high in any one particular day but the goal is to show you the best characters and the best memories that are going to help you out to hopefully score higher within your club and help your contribution as you can see right now i'm number two in my club with 271,000, which is not the greatest i think yesterday it was like 350,000 or so i still need to get this up a little bit if i can but today is a little bit harder to I uh, get that high score, but there are plenty of characters that work pretty well. So today I'm going to show you guys those characters and the memories that you probably want to be running either today or on future days as well. These characters will probably be very, very good for you. So if we go into the attempt stage here, I have the team that I have been using. These are a lot of the memories I use. Sometimes I switch out the memories for other memories. So I'll talk about all the different memories, all the different characters. Sometimes I switch characters from the sub slots to the main slots. It just depends. OK, so uh, yeah, you uh, Celebration Ayurozu is very, very, very good, very essential because she gives the speed, she gives the last stand, she gives the healing, she does a lot of things, she gives power up and crit rate to allies, she's just insanely, insanely good, still one of the most broken characters in the game, and you'll be using her probably almost every day, I don't know, there might be days where we don't use her, but she's just really, really good, so make sure you have her if you can, try to level her up, she does have a banner out right now, an impact fest banner where you can summon for her, so you have a chance to get her if you are newer to the game, so that might be something worth considering. Celebration Bakugo is another very good character, has that constant bullseye that can be really good, especially on days where characters are evading. Now, some days we are going against strength characters, it can be a little bit harder to use this guy. So it's important that like, if you don't have this free to play memory right here, you put like a defensive memory on him more than likely because you're gonna need that to help him survive. And then you have Steampunk Bakugo, who is just obviously goaded in this current club festival. We knew he was gonna be good in club festival because Deku was good in the climax battle. And Bakugo didn't really have content he was good in yet. And then they're like, oh, we're releasing a cl uh, club festival. So we were all like, ah, okay. So that's where Bakugo is going to be good. And he has proven to be good. Like every single day you should be using this character. If you have him, he works pretty good. The new Shigaraki, I feel like at 130, he's probably a little bit better. At level 100, he's okay for me, but he hasn't been super great. He's just meh. And then Night Eye, if you have this character 130 or close to 130, uh, he will do really, really well for you. Even having him at level 100 right now, I did slack a little bit on the last climax battle. So mine's a little bit lower level but even having him to level 100 he is very very good with that aoe stun the barriers everything that he offers to the team he is an insanely good choice for the current club festival now besides these characters there are some other options so i'll show you guys those characters that i would recommend maybe working on or using during this club festival so one of those characters would definitely be the fantasy todoroki fantasy todoroki is very 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 good when it comes to his barriers, when it comes to increasing crit rate, when it comes to the freezing and being able to disrupt uh, enemy skill chains, he just has a lot of versatility, a lot of utility, and he has a lot to offer, especially if you're a player who doesn't have the main characters that I showed you there on the main team. Another option you could run would be this Endeavor right here. Endeavor is a little bit of a glass cannon, so he's a little bit harder to run, but with like the right defense and memory, he can still output pretty good damage. He has two AOE attacks. He has piercing shot. He's just a really strong unit. So he could be one to run. If you're having trouble surviving and you have like absolutely nobody else, you could run Monoma. Monoma's a pretty good for surviving. He'll do some okay damage for you. He has the confuse so he can interrupt skill chains and stuff like that. And that could be useful for you as well. And that's pretty much it for the blue characters. Like as far as I know, there might be some other sleepers. If I miss any characters, if you've been using any characters that have helped you get a high score, uh, let us know down in the comments because maybe other people can try those out. Like maybe this all might have some potential. I don't know. Maybe uh, World Heroes Mission Sodoroki has potential. I, I'm really not sure. But based on what I've seen in the characters I've used in the limited two days we've been doing club festival uh these are the characters i would recommend to you now outside of blue characters we have purple characters right so the purple characters who would i recommend tokoyami i still think is goaded i think he can be really good on certain days and fantasy Araka still really really insanely good fantasy bakugo still has his uses with his aoe so those three characters i would kind of recommend using over most of the others i think maybe steampunk deku and this dobby could potentially have some uses i haven't 
personally use them to get like a high score yet like they could get you through some stuff for sure but they're not going to be i don't think they're going to be super crazy deku is good because he has like his plus ultra all the time and stuff like that but at the same time um him not having aoe i feel like is a bit rough with him so that kind of limits his uses in this club festival overall and that's pretty much it for the characters so not a ton of characters that i recommend for once again scoring high in club festival plenty of those characters will work but the characters i've showed you and just talked about those are the ones i would probably recommend working on getting their ability boards up to board 13 working on their dx routes working on their peace routes to make use of them in this current club festival now besides the characters memories are important so this memory is really really good it is called time for a sum for the summer festival it is a limited memory so if you don't have it you're not going to be able to get it it increases power of all allies that are ua high class 1a characters by 15 percent and then increases speed by 25 percent when equipped by a ua high class 1a character so this is good because it's going to increase the power of your allies those allies probably being one of the two bakugos or both bakugos like you see here and then it's also giving her speed so your team ends up being faster than the enemy team so you don't have to worry too much about having the speed advantage a lot of times having that speed advantage is what is a struggle for people so that will help you out a little bit with that this is a free-to-play memory. It's called Rat in a Trap. It's been goaded for many club festivals. It is a very good option. I do recommend getting it if you get the chance. And what this does, if there are any UA High students on the team, increases character's defense by 20% and decreases power of all opponents by 10% for three turns. That is really, really good for helping survivability, especially on like Celebration Bakugo, right? Who is green and not super great, like type-wise in this current club festival. And then also decreases defense of all opponents by 10% for three turns after receiving three attacks from opponents whose power has been decreased, which their power has. So that's really good. And that is going to help you out a ton, right? So this is definitely a memory you could absolutely run and make use of. And this one I really like still as well. It is called Full Power Young Ones. And so increases character skill impact by 40% if there are any UA, UA high students on the team. When used in character's third successfully executed skill chain, increases critical hit rate of all allies by 15% for three turns and critical skill impact by 20% for three turns. So you want this on the person that's gonna go last in your skill chain, but this is really good for increasing your critical hit rate and skill impact as well. That's just going to help you do more damage. So I think it's a really good option. Other options for the main slots besides like this one right here, full power young ones, you could run other memories. You could run Adventure Awaits. Adventure Awaits is still goaded to this day. Very, very good. You could run Friendly Reinforcements. Friendly Reinforcements is very good. Increases character skill impact by 45% when equipped by a UA high class 1A character. Increases power by 15% for three turns when used in a successfully executed skill chain. Increases defense by 10% for three turns when used in a second or later successfully executed skill chain. And then increases characters plus ultra move skill impact by 20% for three turns when used in a character's third successfully executed skill chain, right? So a really good option that you could be running. Um, other options that you could run that I have found use with in previous days, if I can find it here, I got to scroll through a little bit. This memory is pretty good. Strong battle formation increases characters max HP by 35%. If there are any UA high students on the team, every three turns shortens characters cooldown time by one up to two times and increases plus ultra gauge of all allies by 20% up to two times. You could see why that would be really good in club festival, a very strong and useful memory for you. There are other options besides this. Uh, this memory works pretty good, does a similar thing. Increases character skill impact by 20% if there are any pro heroes on the team. Increases character's action skill impact by 15% for two turns every two turns, up to three times. And then also reduces character's action skill cooldown time by one every three turns, up to three times. I'm watching you as another very solid UR memory. And there's a ton of UR memories that could be used. Those are just ones that I've found personally success with in this current club festival. And then on these two characters here, I do have other memories. This one's a plus ultra cage crit technical hit memory. That's just really good. If you have a fully DX, if you don't have a fully DX, it's not nearly as good, but miraculous coordination. If anyone happens to have that fully DX, it is kind of a good memory you could potentially run. And then this memory right here is friends who call out your name, increases characters power by 40%. Also increases their crit rate by 20% and crit skill impact by 20% if there are any UA high class 1A characters on the team. So this once again just makes your characters hit harder. So another good potential memory. Uh, and in, like in general, uh, typically critical hit memories are going to be useful. Critical skill impact up memories, power up memories, things like that. Things that give you more damage, things that do defense down to the enemy. Any of those things will be useful 
to you, okay? But the reason why this uh, particular main slot team right here is so strong is because they do have the buff blocks going on for them. They do have speed, they have AOE damage, they have bullseye, they have a lot of the things that you need to be able to succeed in club festival. So if you have these three characters, you are probably set for this club festival. If you are missing like Celebration Bakugo or Steampunk Bakugo, you could probably switch either one of them out with Night Eye. That would be my recommendation. And then if you're missing Yayurozu, you could actually switch out Yayurozu Yayu probably with like a Celebration Ochako. She would probably actually work okay for you because she's a healer. She has the AoE. She has crit. She would be relatively okay. I'm not sure what other healers could really take Yayurozu's place because Celebration Ochako also gives speed. Other healers don't really uh, give speed. And then the other healers are going to be like type disadvantage as well. They're not going to be super great. So, in general, it's probably Yayurosu or Celebration or Araka that you can run. You might be able to try this Jiro and get away with it because she's blue. I don't know. I don't know how that would work out, though. But, yeah, those are, in general, the characters you're going to want to work on, the memories you're going to want to work on for this current club festival. Hopefully, that will help get you guys started and help you score a little bit higher in the days to come. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. If you have characters or memories that you have really liked in this club festival that you want to share with people, drop that down in the comments as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.